Hey guys, it's Di from Be Mom with Style, and we are packing to go to Disney World for the holidays. Hooray! So this is the fifth time that we've done this. I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time as far as the packing goes. Normally I take you through packing everyone's stuff um, in individual videos. Right now I'm just doing it all together. So this is all the girls stuff over here and I've already got all their stuff in packing cubes. So I'll show you that in a minute and then it, I'll show you it in the suitcase. And I wanted to show you my shirts real quick for this trip because I got some dedicated shirts for this trip and I'll try to let you know where they're from. I cannot honestly remember the shop. I'll try to link it down below. I think it was the Fashionable Mouse on Etsy. It just came to me. The Fashionable Mouse. So I have some special shirts for this trip so I wanted to show you real quick so it's a little bit different and then I'll just show you everything in the suitcases kind of packing down to the wire here we are getting ready to leave so as you know if you've been watching my videos for a while Disney videos will be coming up shortly because I like to run it where you guys can watch the packing videos and then see vlogs shortly thereafter so anyways this super cute shirt is from the Fashionable Mouse. I got this off of Etsy to wear at some point while I'm down there. I also got this from the Fashionable Mouse. I love this. This is Peppermint Mocha, Snowflakes on Main, Tinkerbell Wishes, Red and White, Candy Canes, Castles That Glisten, Teacups That Whirl. Christmas is the best time for this Disney girl. I love it. So we're going to be going to the Disney party twice, and we have Minnie's Holiday Dine at uh, Hollywood Studios, a Hollywood and Vine. So for sure, we need at least three holiday outfits while we're were there you know optional but for sure so I also got this purple wall y'all shirt and this is from Bibbidi Bobbidi apparel via T Publix. So I'll try to link them down below if I thought this was really super cute if you are into Disney and especially the Disney community on Instagram the purple wall is a thing if you don't know you can look it up I also got this Jack t-shirt what's this from T Public as well Bibbidi Bobbidi apparel and then I also got this Main Street Snow and Mistletoe. I'm hoping to wear that to one of the parties one night. Also from Bibbidi Bobbidi Apparel. And then I got this. It's a V-neck shirt. And I got this from Hot Topic. It says, the flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful. And uh, the reviews on this said it was sized really, really small. It says the size up. And I did get one size larger than I normally would. And I'm glad because it's like a roomy tee. I think if I would have got my normal size, it would have been like super fitted and not comfortable. So those are all those. And then I just picked this up at the Disney store. This is kind of cute. It's a little boxy, but I think it's supposed to be that way it's got kind of a rounded cut at the bottom and it, I love the print and the colors so even if I just wear it to go to the pool or hanging out I thought that that shirt was really super cute so I'm gonna fold all of my clothes up and this is the suitcase that I will be using the American Tourister suitcase I'm gonna put all of the girls stuff here we have three carry-ons this time so mine is one all their stuff will go in here too and then my husband has his own over there which he takes care of us on on his own so I already have all of their customs if you want to see how I fold these and everything that's gonna be in other videos I figured I've shown it multiple times now you guys don't need to see me pack my suitcase again but what I like to do is here you can see the girls Christmas customs there's Bella's Tinkerbell custom this is a two-sided packing cube from um, Ikea there's their Animal Kingdom outfits and then some more customs over here so I try to get the bulk of their customs down into the two-sided ones for all the two-piece customs and obviously they are getting bigger so their clothes are getting bigger and then I had some extra skirts and some larger dresses that I ended up putting in one of these that ended up fitting really, really well. I have all of their bottoms in this one-sided packing cube. So it's like all the shorts that go underneath the dresses and everything. All of their like nightgown stuff, swimsuit stuff is in this one-sided cube as well. So you can see that we're filling up the suitcase quite quickly. And I'm going to zip this up and put this down on the bottom under the other customs. It's really poofy. It'll flatten a lot. And then I just have these two undergarment bags, which I can just slip into the side here or put on top. And then that's going to be their whole suitcase. They'll have their toiletries, which is basically just a toothbrush, a hairbrush, and some hair bows. 
and then they will be good to go. So that's pretty much their suitcase. So that is what that looks like, and then I will just zip this up and zip around, and this will be all the girls' items once I, all their flip-flops and everything are actually already packed on in these packing cubes. So anything extra that we're gonna bring with us, like if we decide to bring an extra pair of shoes or anything, can all go up. All these pockets up here are still empty. Or I'll probably put like their hairbrush and all that sort of thing up there the morning that we leave. So then for my suitcase, all I have left over since I used the majority of the packing cubes for them is this two-sided, and then I have one of the long ones, and then I have some smaller Eagle Creek. So I'm going to get my stuff packed. I've already got all my undergarments packed in this small Eagle Creek. This is all my undergarments for the week. I'm going to put my t-shirts here in a packing bag and get my stuff going. I've got all this stuff in the packing cubes. I just need to get it into my suitcase. You can see on the top I'm also bringing the shirts I brought for the cruise, the Lilo and Stitch because we are doing Ohana breakfast. I'm bringing the Tinkerbell dress just in case as a backup, but then the Rapunzel dress. I'm planning on wearing that to date night. We're going on a date night to California Girl one night, and that's what I'm planning for that night. So I'm going to open this up. This is the inside of the American Tourist or suitcase. Look at the Mickey print. Isn't that cute? You can even see it better on camera with the light shining on it. So this is like long and more of a rectangle. So I'm gonna put that kind of on the bottom. This is two-sided. It's got all of my uh, pajamas and extra shirts. Like I wear a lot of tank tops and things like that. And all of those sorts of swimsuit and all those sorts of things in this one. And then in this one, it's got all my different tops and different Disney print shirts and all of that. So I'm just gonna pull the elastic over here to the side it's pretty easy to get at so then the only thing left is i have this little bag of undergarments which you can stick here in the top and then i have some denim which i'm just going to leave out because uh, it can just go in here as it is and then some shorts which i'm just going to fold up into thirds and then it can go right here in the top in this spot and i'm just bringing you know I think five bottoms because I may be wearing dresses a couple of the days and I'll wear one pair of pants. That should be sufficient. Actually, that's exactly enough for the week. Sometimes, you know, I rewear stuff, but when you don't know how hot it's going to be, it's supposed to be really nice, much nicer than it was last year, thankfully. But I don't like rewearing in those scenarios, like where if you've been, you know, kind of sweaty and all that kind of stuff. So for especially the months where it might be a little bit warmer, I just go ahead and bring, even if it's denim, the amount of pants that I need for each day. So I'm going to alternate those that, that way. So I've got all my denim laying on the top, and that is good to go. My Disney Cruise Line tags just flew everywhere. <laughs> so then the last thing that I have, I'm just going to put a cardigan down in the front, and that way I can easily grab it out if I get cold or whatever. I'm going to bring in a red one to go with all my Christmas shirts, and then a blue one to go with the non-Christmas shirts. And then I will stick our pens and pen trading things here on the top. But other than that... All that's left to pack is on the very last day our toiletries and then we will be pretty good to go. So that is everything down inside my suitcase. I'm going to just zip these up and then these will both be ready to go. The only thing I'll have left to pack is the carry-ons and entertainment bags. That will be in a separate video and pack all my tech stuff, all my cameras and all my tech accessories and then we'll be good to go so hopefully you guys enjoyed following along and we will have disney vlogs for you very soon and it'll be a wonderful holiday trip our first christmas time trip that we have ever vlogged so that'll be super fun so that's it for today thanks so much for watching and have a great day